Well, won the game in the mulligan. It just gave me like Hearthstone flashbacks, you know, when the game was great, but it's like... And then, you know, next expansion the game is bad. I just didn't want to go through that emotional roller coaster, but I was playing hardcore magic for three months. Somebody said that to me. But no, I was like, so I got like top 100 in Magic in the three months I played, but the, the game is like a million years old. So I was like so happy. Like the reason why I didn't get into Magic earlier was because I, I, I was always like, oh, this game is 18 years old. That's like no way a jabroni like me can come in and do anything. Then somebody said, Gara, you're like a top 100 card game player. Or like top 100 strategy player world. So like, no matter what strategy game I would play, I would be like a top 100. And judging from that magic experience would be true. I mean, if you look at my history, like TFT, I got to Challenger. I, I, I started playing TFT, set 5, and I got to Challenger in the same month. I actually had the most games played in the world in TFT in set 5, and the most hours streamed in the world in set 5. And says so really dirty. I'm telling you, and Snare is the truth. Let's go too. Probably have to do this. But then TFT has the same problem. TFT was amazing. And in the big like set 5 was amazing in the in the beginning and every single patch made the game worse. And there were a lot of patches. That was so depressing. Like the, your game starts off amazing. Like this was nuts. So the, every meta after every single balance patch was worse than before. And the end of set 5 was absolutely terrible. <laughs> At the end of set 5 people called it the worst set ever. And at the beginning of set 5 it was the best set ever. <laughs> yeah. I was like top 3 masters in... Runeterra as well. Again, in like a month or so. And... And the problem with Runeterra was... The game is too aggro-focused. Games are decided in the first three rounds. So it's too easy, not enough skill required in that game. Yeah, I was, yeah, top 5 in Runeterra. I was actually one of the biggest streamers in Runeterra. I had like 700 viewers average in Runeterra. Dota Underlords, I was like one of the 
top three players in the world too. At some point, I was like the best player in the world. I was like the first big boss player. Stuff like that. I can make this one uh, something. Give you more than Terra? Absolutely, it's way better. The the fundamentally the game is not good enough. Uh, it looks pretty, all the features are great, tournament mode, all of that. But the game itself uh, requires too little skill because the game is focused around fast gameplay and mobile gameplay. It has doesn't have enough depth, so like. The control cards in that game are like really weak and the aggro cards are really really strong and that's just like a bad concept for strategy card games in my opinion. Zo always wins yeah. Not always but it's favorite by nature because both clears suck, single target removal suck, counter play sucks. And proactive play is ultra strong, especially turn 1, 2, and 3. I actually need to find Lefer potentially. This guy is actually surprisingly good. I might play him again. This is like one of those cards. He looks like a little bit whatever on paper, but when you actually play him, he is insane. There's not so many cards that are played that kill him in any deck. But if he sticks, he's ridiculous. Artifact? Yeah, I was one of those people. Again, Artifact, I was top 5 player as well. I was top 8 in the only offline tournament in Artifact. That's how, how I met a lot of people. <laughs> I'm telling you! I'm around. I might actually be top 100 strategy player in any game. I mean, like, right now, I know it doesn't mean much, but technically, right now, I'm like top 50, right, in Constructed and Discovery. It's still something. Just another game. Oh no. Do you think we can find Lefer here? It's actually crazy that we can win this game. This shit is so annoying. I don't play this because he gets a draw. So chess is interesting. So I beat everybody in my family. That's how I got respect in my family. You know, my uncle is really good at chess, and I beat him when I was 18. Oh, baby. And then, like, my... You have to... This was, like, 
a breakthrough moment in my life. I was like... Because my family is a lot about respect. There's this room, right? I'm playing against my uncle. He's like the best in my family in chess. I have a pretty big family. And they're all watching me play against him. Like, there was another uncle there and my cousins and whatnot. And when I beat him, it was so quiet. It was so funny. It's like, literally like microphone drop. Because nobody expected that. It was so funny. That game was sick.